Oh no, it's gotten worse. Let me just try and it. Hello, welcome to day three of Edinburgh. We're going back into the centre today. Um, I'm not really sure what we're doing. All I do know is that I want my hat thing that I made from the car. Exciting stuff. It's been raining overnight. It's meant to be showers today. I'm not looking forward to that, but you can't have everything, can you? We've got cloud today. We've got blue as well, so. So keeping fingers crossed, I need to finish getting ready and then we need to leave. Let's go. Today, instead of going to the castle side, we're going to the palace side. So I guess we'll see you when we find one of them. So that behind looks a bit like a prison actually, like from this angle with the, um, with the gates. Scottish Parliament. This is the front of Scottish Parliament. It's that bamboo chisel going on. There's the palace just behind this building here. There it is. Got my free audio guide. Mum's refused hers. I'm still talking, so it's a bit weird. This is the official residence um, of the Queen in Scotland. And it's Holyrood Palace, if I haven't already said that. I don't think we're allowed to take pictures inside the palace, so this might be all you get, to be honest. So that's a shame. It's sad about it. overstated it's is that the right word it's not overstated it's just not too much bling going on but it's still very grand and beautiful and the history behind it as well is pretty damn good <laughs> Exciting. Mum's gonna spend about 20 minutes trying to take a picture of a cat now. <laughs> On a side note, if anybody at all wants to send me £250 so I can sort out and get a proper camera, a new camera, because apparently this one's gonna cost a lot to fix. Or if anyone knows anything about cameras and wants to fix it for free for me before we leave Sri Lanka on the 28th of December, I'd really appreciate it. Comment below. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping there's a bit more to see inside. No. There isn't, is yeah, that it? Inside, yeah. I kind of wanted a bit more. For, for the money paid and all of that, yeah. like the castle had a lot more to it, I think, than the palace. Mm, but I have enjoyed it, so yeah. Closed until Easter. Not until 12 p.m. Easter. Of course it's closed. <laughs> it's us. Mum just took us into a Christmas shop and we're very sad because we can't have a Christmas tree this year. Plan is to find Greyfriars Bobby. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at the Christmas tree, that's pretty. That's in the Radisson Hotel, lovely. Yeah, plan is to go find Greyfriars Bobby uh, statue. And there's also um, a cafe where JK Rowling wrote a lot of uh, Harry Potter or something. So we're gonna go and have a find of that. It's an awful grammar, Zoe. This is Greyfriars Bobby. And this is me taking a picture with Wooly. <laughs> Look, there he is. So basically, Greyfriars Bobby was the dog of a guy called, what's his name, John Gray. When he died, um, he went and sat on his grave and pined for him until he basically died, which is quite sad, but it's a cute little statue. It's life size as well, it's tiny. There he is on there. Hey Rowling, wrote some books and shit. Had some lunch at a place called The City, it wasn't the best place in the world. Now Mum's taking me into Pound Savers. Great. It is pretty Christmassy though. How many candles could you possibly need? Wow. Who wants an incense stick that's for zombie repellent? We've got Walking Dead. Runaway Vampire. I bought a thing. 
Hello, you might have guessed that we're back. I'm wearing a dressing gown. I'm very excited about this dressing gown because I purchased it not even an hour ago. It is the snuggliest thing I've ever put on in my entire life. The people at M&S were so lovely, weren't they, Mum? Yeah, Mum's here, by the way. I'm really happy. I'm so snuggly. Like, I'm literally being, like, I'm getting a hug right now, Mum. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how much I actually filmed of Edinburgh and what we did today. We didn't have the longest day in the world. Um, had a little look in some uh, little shops. The only other thing I have to show you is I have been wanting a replacement dream catcher for years, literally about 10 years, because mine got sun damaged and it was just awful. Hold on a moment. Okay, I've got it out. Are you ready? Look how pretty it is. I'm so excited. It's got emerald in it as well, which is meant to ward off uh, evil spirits. It's beautiful and it was 50% off, so I'm very pleased with my little buy. I'm not going to need it until I get back from India and Sri Lanka and all of those wonderful places. But, you know, it's, it's there, as well as the dressing gown ready waiting for me when I get back. That has been Edinburgh. We love Edinburgh. Would you agree? Absolutely. Been fantastic. Yeah. Um, we definitely want to come back. I'm coming back at some point anyway. Because, pff, well, it's worth coming back to. If you haven't been to Edinburgh, I highly recommend. I think Mum and Bear does too. Definitely. Um, make sure you wrap up warm, that's the only thing I would advise because it's cold up here in Scotland. We'll see you next time for wherever we are next. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and we'll see you next time. Bye!